welcome back to my channel and if you guys are tuning in for the first time I just want to say welcome and thank you guys for watching today's video is going to be an updated what's in my iPhone it is very requested on my social sites and um, when I got the iPhone 7 plus um, you guys were like hey you should do an updated one since you didn't what's in my iPhone 6s plus or 6 or iPhone plus 6s or iPhone 6 plus s or as at six S plus whatever it was it was a controversy because apparently I said the wrong name it's like saying Frances Rojas but instead of saying Frances Rojas I said Frances I said Rojas Frances like come on people you got nothing better else to do like get a life so that was like a big deal in my comment section and people were going back and forth because I said I said it wrong it, everybody understood it was a 6 plus S whatever it is I don't care so guys um, yeah this video is an updated one since I got myself um, not so I kind of got it like about two or three months ago no like two months ago so you guys wanted to see an updated version of what's in my iPhone and I thought it was a good idea because when I upgraded it to the iPhone 7 I actually got the 132 gigabytes I think it is it's like one of the most so I have a more applications in here that I did not have on my previous phone so I thought it was cool for me to share this with you guys um because I was like you know what? I have more apps that I used to use and all of a sudden I couldn't because Apple decided to to limit my space and I have the rose gold version of course I was gonna get the rose gold with white white and rose gold I'm sorry let me get it out of my case this is what the baby looks like ah and honestly I got it because of the portrait mode on the camera if you're a blogger you know that you need to get that perfect shot and you're gonna get it with portrait even though it's a pain in the ass that you need to uh, uh close no, no no come back uh, uh no close come back so yeah anyway so this is my phone it's a rose gold iPhone 7 plus and um, it's the white face and um, yeah let's see if you guys want to see what's right inside over here all you guys have to do is keep on watching all right guys so here's my phone this is my front page of my phone it has a oh, Excuse me, that was not supposed to happen. So it has marble because one thing I'm obsessed with marble and it says enjoy every moment. I love it. Let me take out the cover so you guys can actually see the phone. It's the rose gold as you can see. This cover I bought it at the company where I have my phone, like my carrier. That's where I bought it. It says hugs and kisses and I love the rose gold. I thought it would be awesome with this cover. I'm sorry, with this phone because it you can see the rose gold and then it's just, I love it. I love it. So when we open it, don't get scared. If you have, if you are a, like a, I don't know, like it gets you really mad to see like all these little bubbles but I do I have those bubbles I have a lot of bubbles let me just bring you guys a little bit closer I have all those bubbles and I can't do nothing about it because they're there I can't I cannot take them off now I do have 20,000 emails as you can see sorry guys but it's like that so this is like I said this is an updated what's in my iPhone this is an iPhone 7 plus the one that I did before used to be an iPhone 6s plus and um yeah so the reason why I switched to this phone is because of the camera. And if you're a beauty blogger, fashion blogger, lifestyle blogger, or anything like that, you can carry your camera with you at all times. But knowing that your phone can take bomb ass pictures, it's a plus. Oh, okay, that was too close. It's a plus. So I did get the 7 Plus um, just because of the camera, just because of that portrait, which I'm going to show you right now. And you guys already know what I'm talking about. Let's see if I can get, uh, yeah, excuse all my pictures. Um, oh wait, you can go into the albums and you can go straight to the depth effects. There we go. This is the reason why I er, got this phone because I wanted everything to be blurred in the background. I'm trying to pick a, a, a picture that you guys can see that everything is blurred in the background. As you, can you guys see that? Can you guys see that everything is blurred in the background? That is the reason why I got this phone. Look at that. The flowers are there and everything else in the background is blurred. That is the main reason why I got this phone. So now let's see what's inside my phone. In the first page, I have my messages, my calendar, my photos, my cameras, my map, my clock, my wallet. 
um, pretty much everything that comes with the phone. The only thing that I added into this frontal page right here is the Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Snapchat, um, my VSCO for my pictures and my WhatsApp. That is the only things that I have in the front just because, you know, you open your phone and these are the ones that I use normally and I use most of the time. So on the bottom, I have my phone calls, my emails, my inter internet and my Spotify account. So I took out the iTunes from there and I put Spotify because that's normally what I use for my music <laughs> so of course here is my instagram if you go into my instagram here is my profile right here and if you guys let me just bring you guys a little closer i don't think my camera sounds it there we go there we go this is me right here oh, hello if you don't follow me on my instagram there it is francis.michelle follow me right now look me up <laughs> all right and then i have my is snapchat right over here so if you guys don't follow me on Snapchat, then here is my code. Go ahead and take a screenshot, do whatever you got to do, and go ahead and add me into Snapchat so you can be up to date with me and everything that I do. I recently went to New York, so everything was recorded in there. Okay, so here we go to VSCO. This is my holy girl app. I love this app. Here is where I added all my pictures to get that... To get that... Um, uh, I'm running out of words right now. To get that theme look that I'm going for on my Instagram. I have two themes. I have the bluish, pinkish color. It's like a blue color. Here it is. There we go. These are the two themes that I have on my, on my page right now. I used to have this one. Now I'm trying out this one. This, as you can see, is like a blue color. This is more like a, like a, like a beige color type of thing. So now all my pictures are that color. I do have a video that I'm going to link down below on how I edit my pictures and upload them to Instagram. I will link that down below so you guys can see what filters I use to get my pictures. So these are just pictures that I have worked with and whatnot. But VSEO is bomb.com. And of course, I got my WhatsApp right over here. And on to the second page. I have my FaceTime, my calendar. I put my extras here, which are pretty much what comes with the phone and you cannot get rid of. I mean, you can get rid of these things, but I just pretty much leave it there. And then on the notes, I have numbers, keynote pages, and sign easy. This is pretty much when I receive contracts over the e over emails and I don't have time to print them out, sign them, and send them again. I just go ahead and sign them through this app right here and send them back to the company. So here's my photos and um, video apps. I don't do much, to be honest. I don't have a lot. I have Rana, which is what I do to when I want to put like... Look, I'll show you. Rana is when I want to... Rana is the one that I use like when I want to add... Okay, where I... Oh, I erased them. Nice. All right, anyways, Rona is the one that I use when I want to add letterings and words to my pictures. I normally don't do that unless I'm doing like a, unless I'm doing like a, for my IG stories, that's what I, that's what I like to do here. I just put, I just put whatever I want to put in here and I put the um, letter that I want and I put, um, color of the letter and whatever this I normally use it when I am doing like a um, Instagram story I'm trying to tell you guys something and I just wanted to make it pretty like here my Instagram story for this week like this right here I did this in Instagram but then I went into Rana and then I added this letterings right here the happy Monday letter and the good morning babes that is what I do to go ahead and use Rana for just to add those things Okay, then of course we have Instasize. We don't, Instasize you guys pretty much don't use it anymore. I don't use it unless what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to put the picture that I use as my thumbnail for a YouTube video and I'm trying to upload it into Facebook. So it kind of has that square image. That's what I use Instasize for, but now pretty much I don't use Instasize whatsoever. Then we got Pick Effects. This is pretty much for like filters. Moldiv is also for filters. Of course, we need to have Facetune up in this place. We got Pixlr, Camera Plus, Aviary, and Piss App. Piss App, I use it to, um, like, if I have a picture and I want to add another picture to that picture, I use this application right here. But I'm going to be very honest with you. Lately, the only apps that I use to edit my pictures are going to be uh, Facetune, Camera Plus, and VSEO. 
and if I'm planning out my Instagram, I'm going to be using Planoli. So next, moving on, I got school Schoolology because I'm taking a class right now, so I have everything in there. Um, followers Plus. This here tells you who follows you, who unfollows who who follows you, and who unfollows you. I got my Cash App. Uh, payments when I'm doing a makeup or I'm doing a personal stylist event. I'm sorry, a, a personal stylist sessions. You can either pay me by PayPal or they send me by Cash App. Then of course, Planoli is my holy grail application. Here is where I pretty much schedule all my posts. And if you guys haven't seen how I edit my pictures and all that, again, video will be on the description box down below. Then I got my YouTube Studio. For anybody who has YouTube, you have to have YouTube Studio. It's one of the most important things. And here I reply to comments, I see my analytics, I see what's going on with the videos and whatnot. And then on social, I have Messenger, my page, uh, Twitter, and Pinterest. I barely go on Twitter. I don't even know why I have Twitter, but I barely, 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 barely use Twitter. Then of course, I got my Sephora app. You know you need to do that shopping, girl. <laughs> then utilities, I have my Yelp, my Verizon, my SunTrust, my OfferUp. I love OfferUp. I can find a lot of awesome things in OfferUp. Play Memory, which is for my Sony camera. My Cartwheel for Target, of course. We have a lot of these discounts there. My Weather Channel and my Google Apps because I don't trust. Sometimes I don't trust Siri, so I got to go and download Google Apps. Then I have my YouTube for kids, of course. When you have kids, you have to have something in the phone for them. I got my Bible. I got my self-employed QuickBooks. When you have a business of your own, you need to put everything in here. So when tax season comes around, you have everything here and it just transports it into wherever you file taxes. So if you have a, you are self-employed and you have a business, if you have a YouTube channel that is your business, you're gonna have expenses and you're going to have income and all that, you need to get this baby right here. So then we have, of course, Influencer. Um, we got Snapseed, which this is another app to edit pictures, but this is pretty much for adding words as well. So I come here, I go to text, I pick whichever style I want, and I'll just go over here and change it. And if I want to put a happy Monday, babes, whoa, new post, alert. So this is pretty much what goes into my, um, again, my Instagram stories. There we go. Happy Monday, babes. New pose alert. See? And then I save this picture and I put it into my Instagram stories so you guys can see that I have a new post. And y'all should go and like my post. So this is what I like to do. I just like to put here. Then I got my Wish. Of course, I love, love Wish. I still haven't placed an order with them because I'm, I... Sometimes I want things right away and they take a little longer, but I love Wish. And then, of course, I got Uber. You need some Uber. And I don't need Uber here because I live in Florida and I have my own car. But when I travel to New York or I travel to Miami or I travel to California, we do Uber. So I have my Uber. I also had the Uber Eats app. I don't know why. Um, sometimes my kids play on my phone and they delete my phone. So anyways, guys. This is it. This is all I have on my phone. I don't have games because I feel like games distract me. I feel like I'm on my phone to be on social media and to write to emails and reply to emails. And if I put games on my phone, I feel like it distracts me from what I'm supposed to get done. And again, when you have YouTube channel, a blog, kids, a house, a husband, you don't have time to play with anything but whatever. So this is just pretty much technical. The reason why I have little apps is because I take a lot of pictures. As you can see, I have 1,375 pictures and I'm constantly deleting. So that is the reason why I don't over cram it with apps because I want to be able to have space for my videos and I want to be able to have space for my uh, pictures. But that's it, guys. It's very, I just think it's very boring, honestly, what my phone has. It doesn't have nothing outside it, what a phone should have. But if you have any apps like you, like to edit apps like photos or anything like that any type of apps that you say it's gonna work for me or whatever just go ahead and shoot them on the comment section below i always love to try new apps but anyways guys i hope you liked this video and i hope you guys liked what's on my phone but um yeah this is all i have on my iphone 7 so yeah guys that is it that is all i have on my iphone 7 i don't have much i'm not a, peer, a person to put like a lot of things on my phone but i do have a lot of pictures so yeah, I hope you guys like this video. I'm really excited to, I'm really happy when you guys ask me for a specific video because it gives me something to record, guys. So 
If you guys want to see any more videos, don't forget to shoot them on my comment section right down below. And if you like this video, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And if you guys have an app that you're like, Francis, you need this app in your life, let me know. I'm always open to downloading apps that are going to simplify my life or that are going to help me edit my pictures or keep myself organized. So shoot that in the comment section right down below. And don't forget to follow me on all my social sites that are going to be on the description box of this video. So as usual, thank you so much for sticking till the end. Besotes, be blessed, precious pearls. I will see you ladies on my next video. Bye.